Hi, today we're going to tell you a bit about behaviorism and hot potatoes, a subtopic of our introduction to virtual learning environments lecture. Our presentation will be divided in three parts. The first part talk about behaviorism, the second one deals with hot potatoes, basic features, and the last one deals with how hot potatoes can help us with behaviorism learning. So, behaviorism is a psychology approach that only focuses on objectively observable behaviors. Behavior theorists define learning as a modification or an accusation of behavior. This change is the human response to an external stimulus. The basic principle is to divide the knowledge into subtopics. In the context of educational software, this approach lays on basic quizzes with right or wrong questions. Hot Potatoes is an e-learning software that allows you to automatically create pages from manual data input. Pages are built as an interactive web-based teaching exercises. Hot Potatoes provides multiple exercises templates like quizzes, crosswords, gap fill exercise, and so on. In the context of behaviorism learning, Hot Potatoes provides the appropriate tool jQuiz, which helps you to build fully customizable questions and answers exercises. Let's have a look on a real example taken from a French lecture in Portland Secondary College. On this window, you can see a quiz based on hot potatoes. The topic of this quiz is saying how you feel, vocabulary development exercise. On the left side, you can see the vocabulary for the next three exercises in this topic. And on the right side, you can see the main quiz. Let's have a look on the first question. How do you say, how is it going? And when you choose an answer, a window says if the answer you chose is the best or not. Let's go on to the next question. It is based on the same template. We have, what does this mean? Bonsoir, monsieur. Comment allez-vous? You have to choose the right translation. We chose the answer D, which is not the right translation. Oh. <laughs> but the answer C is the right answer. Then, we can see how to implement a basic quiz on the tool. So, we have our jQuiz window on which we have the title of our quiz, blanks to fill for the questions, the answers, the feedbacks. Then, after filling the question, we can fill the, the answers we want, to, we want for the learner to be chosen. Then, we can put feedbacks for these answers and choose the right answer by ticking the checkbox. Then we can go on to the next question, fill the blanks for the question, for the answers, and then for the feedbacks. And then click, ticking the right checkbox. Then we can publish our website by ticking the, the button and choosing a title for our HTML file. Then we can save our work 
and view the exercise in our browser. As you see, it's the result is based on the example we saw earlier. We have our quiz, our title, and the question with the answer we've registered earlier. When we, when we take the right answer, we have the same window as earlier saying that we have ticked the right question. With the feedback we've put before. Then we go on to the next question. We chose the wrong answer and we have the feedback we have chosen to display. Then we can click OK and our tutorial is done. To conclude, let's say that Hot Potatoes is a simple and effective tool that suits behaviorism learning. However, according to us, behaviorism approach disregards activities of the mind as the learner is a passive receiver of the information. Bye-bye.